Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with layout 25 out of 26 that I got done at the crop that I went back to October 2022 and where I got 26 layouts done in a weekend. Now this layout took me about 24 minutes to complete and most of the layouts that I got done at the crop you know, took me between, we'll say 25 minutes to about an hour. And I think the difference between taking a 20 minute time or an hour time is just what is available in the kit. So when I look at a kit and I see, for example, all these two by two squares, right away I'm like, hey, what if I use some of those for the layout and it takes up real estate on that layout and then from there I look at how many pictures I have I look at the rest of the embellishments and papers and I kind of decide from there you know kind of gives me a jumping off board on how to get that layout done and some other layouts I did add some sketches which you would think that would make it easier right because you're looking at a sketch and it tells you cut this, this size, and that, that size. But I found a lot of times, because it was already prescribed for me, it's like my brain was getting like, ah, oh, you can take your time, you know, because everything's all laid out for you. And some of those layouts took me 40 minutes to get done. All that to say, it's not a race. When you go to a crop, chances are it's to kind of unplug, just have fun, meet up with some friends, meet up with new friends, get some scrapbooking done, you know, some layouts done that maybe has been sitting around for a long time. And then just being, right? Just scrapping with no intent, if you will, you know, scrapping just to scrap. And I love doing a bunch of layouts like that in a row, I find that um, I get to relive those memories and I absolutely love that. I love going through pictures and saying, oh my gosh, do you remember that, you know, huge tree that we saw on one of the paths? Or do you remember when we got to those falls? Or do you remember when we saw that grizzly on the side of the road? And you know, all those things. It just, it's nice. Some experiences in life, you never want to relive again, right? <laughs> now, you may want to scrapbook those or you may not want to scrapbook those. But most things I find that we scrapbook, it's because we want to relive those times again. And other people that are looking at your scrapbook, you get them to experience what you know your experiences were or that moment was now let me know in the comments down below do you scrapbook a lot of daily moments you know things that is not an event like a trip or a birthday or you know a baby shower or a wedding shower or a wedding or a day at the beach do you scrapbook any of those just daily moments like doing the dishes or, you know, maybe doing some gardening or vacuuming or doing the laundry? I find that the only time that I really document those is during December daily. And that's why I like doing December daily once a year because then there's one month in the year that it's fun to flip through and see the daily stuff but I've been saying for a while that I need to do that for more than just December so I don't know like a month that would be fun to document like maybe in July because you know you do a lot of summer stuff or just because summer is here in July doesn't mean that it's summer let's say in Australia <laughs> so you know, maybe pick a month that you do a lot of stuff and get quite a bit of, you know, the daily stuff documented. 
just to let you know, I have been kind of talking about doing another virtual crop and I didn't have a date. I have a date now. It's going to be May 26, 27, 28th, like that weekend. And it's going to be on sale this week and where we're going to do 10 challenges, 10 layouts, and we're going to spread it throughout the weekend. So we'll probably do, you know, a few hours uh, on Friday, quite a few hours on Saturday. We may finish it on Saturday or go on to Sunday. I'll put all the details um, in the description of the class. The good thing about, you know, scheduling the whole weekend, if something happens, you know, life is life. Like one time we had a virtual crop, you know, there was a hurricane that went through my area <laughs> and we did the Friday night and then Saturday and Sunday was canceled because I had no power and we did it the weekend after. So that's why I say the whole weekend and then I block it off. I tried to do most of it on Friday and Saturday, but then if something happens, you know, that, I don't know, the electricity gets knocked off for whatever reason, I can still do it Sunday. So you can find all that information at NicoleJones91.com. Under virtual crop, make sure that you look for May 26th to May 28th, 2023. It's $10 for 10 hours of scrapping. Let's talk a little bit about this layout. So like I said, those two by two squares, I love having those on some pattern papers. I like cutting them out. I like putting them together like I did here, four side by side, and then you put another four by four picture right next to it and it kind of balances it off. And in this case, I had four four by four photos, so that was the perfect opportunity to put the three photos on the bottom and then the one photo, I ended up putting some pattern paper in behind it and it really brings focus to that photo. Once I have like the basics of the layout down, then I start looking at my embellishments. And you know that I absolutely love using viewfinders and the one and a half inch circle and our two inch circles and our butterflies and the arrows. So I'm using a little bit of everything and that I had within this page kit and I'm making the clusters. Now, anything outdoorsy, those butterflies work really well. Talking about the die cuts, our gold rush sale is still on. So gold 50, you get 50% off all the single file, uh, digital files and all the classes. And gold 20 is you get 20% off the bundles. And I'm so excited to show you the newest digital file. It's all flowers in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and there's leaves. And I just can't wait to use them on my scrapbook layouts. And just a reminder, we will be having a live this Thursday, May 11th at nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe put yourself a little reminder to maybe join us. It's a lot of fun, a lot of chitty chatter, and we get some layouts done. And of course, once I have the foundation of each of the clusters, if I want to add extra stuff, that's when I like to use the stickers from the collections that I've purchased and I like to kind of finish off the clusters. Then I'm gonna add the flight of the butterfly. Oh, and I just remembered this is scrapbook process 1000. Can you believe it? I can't believe that I have that many scrapbook process videos out there. And that doesn't even include all the lives that I've done over the years. So let me know in the description box below, have you watched all 1,000 videos? If so, kudos to you. But let me know how long you've been here in the description box below. And that's it, that's gonna complete this layout. 
And I just want to take a second and just say a huge thanks again to all my patrons for all your support. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.